Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. And it is my hope and prayer that this video is actually going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I am fine as you can see. Kisumu is also fantastic. And maybe you could also let me know where you're watching the video from, the county or the country, in case you are out of the republic. Ladies and gentlemen, if there's one positive thing I can always say about Kenya Kwanza government, then it was about their decision to facilitate the return of Miguna Miguna, the LRM leader, into the country. Ibu tu kwa raka. Rika serikali yako utamuruhusu Miguna arudi nyumbani. Miguna Miguna tutamurejesha nyumbani maramoja. Kwa ah. sababu ni mkenya. Dio. Hajafanya ana hatia yoyote. Na hata kama hako na hatia yoyote. Aletwe nyumbani kuna sheria ambaye atakabiliana nayo. E, mimi sioni e, haja ya kuwa na wakimbizi wa kutoka nchi zingine Kenya Nam. na tuko na mmoja wetu mkenya amefanywa mkimbizi kule Canada Miguna Miguna was forcefully evicted out of the country by Jubilee government after participating in the swearing in ceremony of Raila Amolo Odinga as the people's president and as fate would have it Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga later had a handshake and majority of NASA supporters by at that time believed that Raila Odinga was going to use that opportunity to return Miguna Miguna into the country because Miguna Miguna had turned out to be one of the darlings of the NASA supporters at that time. But that did not happen. And we started seeing Miguna Miguna attacking Red Odinga, attacking Uhuru Kenyatta. And before we knew, Miguna Miguna was fully supporting William Samoy Arapruto, a man he actually never believed in. Never be president of the Republic of Kenya. Take my word. William Ruto. William Ruto will not be president. Why not? Too dangerous. For Kenya? People are scared of William Ruto. Why are they scared of him? Everybody is scared of William He's Ruto. He's a teetotaler. No, a teetotaler. Did you listen to this interview that he did with Hussein Mohammed? The man is a demagogue. He went on and on and on and could not allow Hussein Mohammed to ask any single question. He even told Hussein Mohammed you should be asking this question instead of what you have asked. Now, if he's doing that, he's only deputy president. What would he do when he's president? The journalists will come in, they will be given uh, already prepared questions, yeah. and you will be standing there with already prepared answers, and they will be asking the questions he's already prepared. And if you ask a question that's all on the list? Then you will go to detention. So I, I don't think that these are solutions. And when Kenya Kwanza took office, and after the swearing in of William Ruto, the first thing he did was to facilitate the return of Miguna Miguna back into the country. First of all, I am very, very, very grateful for the warm welcome you have given me. And I'm extremely happy to be back home. I extend my gratitude to all Kenyans who have stood with me, who have stood with the Bill of Rights in the Constitution. Yes who have stood with the cause of justice, who have stood with the dictates of democracy, who have stood with the principles of the rule of law. I would like to extend my gratitude to the judiciary that stood firm on the side of the rule of law. I must extend my gratitude to Kenyans that voted overwhelmingly for the Kenya Kwanza government because that is central for me. Without this administration, I would not be back home. So I am thanking His Excellency the President, the Deputy President and his administration and everybody else who has worked tirelessly to make sure that my rights um, are protected and the rights of every other Kenya. What has happened to me should never have happened to anyone else. And Miguna Miguna started dining at status. General. Our general. Welcome back home, Miguna Miguna. Yes, thank you. Thank yes, you. coming.
And of course, Miguna Miguna also announced to the country his plan. He had one main agenda and objective to liberate the Luo nation from the grip of Raila Amolo Odinga. Indeed, Miguna Miguna started moving around Luo Nyanza, but he received a lot of resistance. And then Miguna Miguna started disappearing. I think there must have been some media blackout on him because Miguna Miguna actually thrives on uh, media and on his social media handles. So yesterday, Miguna Miguna shocked everybody. This is what Miguna Miguna posted on his, face, on his Facebook and Twitter handle. And it's very important because just like I keep on telling you, it's going to take a miracle for William Ruto to win in 2027. Waititu left. My friend Anwar Sadet left. Miguna, Miguna has left. Several other people are also leaving Kenya Kwanzaa. This is what Miguna, Miguna posted because he's going to form the basis of this analysis. He's saying, I can assure you that in 2027 and beyond, Kenyans will not remember, recognize, or be impressed by William Bruto's eloquence, frequent foreign trips, and countersuits. They will remember only their hunger, poverty, unemployment, and cascading astronomical scale of corruption. Don't ever say, I didn't warn you. So from that post, it is clear that Miguna Miguna has actually dumped William Samoy Arapruto. And the question is, why would Miguna Miguna dump William Ruto? For me, I can trace it to the appointment of the Director of Public Prosecution. When Miguna Miguna returned into the country, he was really embraced by Kenya Kwanza. Listening to Musalem Davadi talking about Miguna Miguna, immediately he returned into the country. So that is why we are saying Kazi Yendele. And to be honest, I must say, I'm so happy to see Miguna Miguna here. It's good to see you. Asante sana. So, it's now my humble... So, majority of Kenyans expected William Ruto to reward Miguna Miguna. That has not happened. So, Miguna Miguna they decided to apply for that particular position of the Director of Public Prosecution. He failed to get it. And I knew that was going to mark the end of Miguna Miguna and William Samuel Arap Ruto. So the question is, why would Miguna Miguna write this kind of message to William Roto and using his own social media pages? My Twitter handle alone is visited by more than 10 million people every day. My Twitter handle alone. I have 2 point, almost 3 million people following me. That's just following. They're not following for anything else. They're following to read what I have to say. It's larger than KTN. So in this video, I want to reveal to you guys why that move by Maguna Maguna is bad news for William Samoy Arapruto and the entire Kenya Kwanzaa Brigades. But before you do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to delve in. And I want to go straight to the point. Why do you think the move by Meguna Meguna is actually going to hurt William Ruto and Kenya Kwanza? Number one, Nyanza politics. For those who understand William Ruto's game plan for 2027, Nyanza is part and parcel of William Ruto's scheme of things. There are strong feelings in Kenya Kwanza that Mount Kenya is drifting away from Ruto. And even if he's not drifting away that much, the truth is William Ruto cannot get enough support the way he did in Mount Kenya in 2022. So, of course, there are several factors. The fact that Raila Odinga might not be on the ballot, the fact that Kalonzo might be on the ballot, or Mount Kenya might sponsor their own candidate. So there's the fear in William Ruto's camp that Mount Kenya might leave. But where can he get votes? If Raila Odinga is not running, his game plan was to win Nyanza. So you had to believe that because of Miguna Miguna's eloquence, because of Miguna Miguna's courage, 
and of course the perception that we're going to enjoy the support of uh, NASA supporters, he was going to be used to influence the people of Nyanza. Now that that person is has left because promises were never made and the rest, the thing is William Ruto's equation for Nyanza has failed. I don't see from where I stand any leader from Nyanza, the current one, who can persuade the voters of Nyanza not to vote for Nairobi. I'm saying this because every other person who has gone to Kenya Kwanza have gone there either because of their stomach or personal interest. I can mention them. I want to give you, for example, Ros Nyamunga. Do you think Ros Nyamunga can convince anybody in Nyanza to join William Proto? I don't think so, because this is a lady who was women rep, Isumu County. She failed. She was nominated as a senator. In the last election, she failed in her bid. And of course, in all the three instances, she's actually been favored by ODM party. So people normally look at her and say, what about this guy? Then you go to Nyatike, where there's Omuklela, <laughs> Anyanga. What can Anyanga bring? Who can Anyanga convince? You know, so all these people, there's nothing. So it was only Mugona Mugona who was going to bring something new. So he has now fallen out with these people. So William Ruto's equation for Nyanza, gone. Number two, it's also going to make anybody who wanted to join William Ruto's camp to think twice. Basically, it's going to be a deterrent factor. That if someone like Meguna Meguna, who has spent almost four or five years attacking, attacking Raila Odinga and pressing William Ruto, and was actually facilitated to, re to return into the country to fight Raila Odinga, cannot get an appointment in government, has finally decided to give up. Who do you think would, <coughs> would risk joining uh, Kenya Kwanza? So most people who had plans of joining Kenya Kwanza, I can assure you, they are not going to, to do that. Just on the account that someone like Miguna Miguna has now left. Look at it from this way. Even if you take the case of Waititu, Waititu worked very hard for Ruto. He sacrificed even his ambition in uh, Kiambu <coughs> because if he had not fallen out with the Uhuru, probably what it would still be the governor. That's the fact. Then, nothing. He left the other day. So who are you to now plan to join? What are you going to get from there? So it's actually going to deter many people from joining <laughs> Kenya Kwanza. Number three, I've always told you on this platform that politics is also a perceptional game. When Meguna Meguna left for Canada, he was very powerful. When he returned and joined Ruto, he added certain value. And that's why when uh, he went to State House, he easily met with Ruto. That's the fact. That's why he was always given the, the seat in the front row during presidential events. Now, he added value. Now that he has left, what do you think is happening? So the perception of the value is that there's something wrong there. Because when Tito is left, Kabogo left, every other person is leaving. Why should we go there? So it's going to affect Kenya Kwanzaa also in a very big way. Number four, there's also the tag, a tag here which is also emerging, material tag. That William Ruto is using people to fight his wars. Then after that, he leaves you. The truth is, and sometimes I agree with, with Roto, if you want to support me, you have to support me fully. I'm sure the reason why Meguna Meguna has failed in his mission of working with Roto is simple. He has refused to go to Roto. Because if you want to work with Roto, and I've, I, I, you know, all these UDA leaders from Nyanza, most of them are people are known to me, we talk, we meet. One condition Ruto has put to them is that if you want to work with me, first of all, come and join UDA. Simple. Join UDA. So you can't convince Ruto that you want to support him from Nyanza, but then you are not joining his party. And how do you join UDA? You must put on that yellow kofia and a yellow shirt. That's why people like Kawota, for them to be appointed the, the chief administrative secretary, they had to move around, put kofia na, na shirts, Mobilize people, take photos. Even Kidero for him to be appointed, he had to do that. All these people. 
Nobody in Nyanza has ever been appointed to any position in Kenya Kwanza without putting yellow. So I was looking forward to the day Mingona Mingona was going to put yellow. He has refused. <laughs> and because he has refused, he couldn't get the appointment as the DPP. Because, you know, of course, Ruto cannot appoint Mingona Mingona as the DPP. Mingona Mingona can turn against you. Because Mingona Mingona is someone who believes in the rule of law. <laughs> Some of these people don't believe in the rule of law. <laughs> and lastly, it also shows that William Ruto's mission of trying to rally anti rila forces is failing. There's something that William Ruto wanted to do. William Ruto wanted to appear as a reformist. So he targeted the church, he targeted the civil society, and radicals. That's how William Ruto ended up with someone like David Ndi on his camp. Most people are wondering how David Ndi ended up working with the Ruto. Ruto wanted to create a perception that he's a reformer. That's why people like Miguna Miguna he brought them. But the truth is, it's now a failed mission. He cannot really rally anti rally Odinga forces because some of these people are independent-minded. And uh, the truth is, it's very difficult to work with independent-minded individuals, especially someone like Ruto cannot work with them. I don't know what you think. That's my take. Until next time, this is Lima Queen. And by the way, Uru Kenyatta is making serious, serious moves in the mountain. And those moves are intended to kick Ruto out of Mount Kenya. So I'm following the events there very closely. And I'm coming back with thorough analysis. Until next time, this is Lima Queen. Bye-bye.